Good morning everyone. We're a little late than normal today. It's uh, 8.03 and the reason I'm late is because the forecast for today when I checked last night was 65% rain. But when I woke up this morning it changed to 15% and where I'm going, Willowemo Creek in Parksville, New York, the forecast is just cloudy. So I got ready and got out. But look, I don't know if you'd be able to see this, but there's an eagle up ahead feasting on roadkill. Let me go get my bigger camera. I'm here at the, the covered bridge in Parksville, New York, called Bendo Bridge. There's my car. I'm gonna head over to the waterfalls on Willowemo Creek. V and I have been here before, but we missed the second taller waterfall because at that time we thought the small waterfall behind the first waterfall was already it, but it wasn't. So here, I'm back. Oh, that was slippery. Oh man, gotta watch my step. All right, somehow I have to uh, cross this uh, creek and try not to get my uh, feet wet and try not to slip also. There we go. Yes. Whoa. Uh oh, I got my feet wet anyway. Oh yeah, what a way to start a hike. It's 9.13 right now. It's a 40 minute hike in an out and back trail. So in 20 minutes, I should be at the second waterfall. There's the first waterfall. First of two wheel of Wemmock waterfalls. All right, I'll continue head on towards the second one, which is what I came here for. This was what we thought as a second waterfall when V and I first came here. We saw it, took some pictures, and then headed back. The second waterfall is actually taller, straight drop, about 17 feet. And the second waterfall, somewhere further up. So, let's get going. This is also very pretty. On the way back, I'll stop and take pictures here. Oh, I think I see the tall waterfall now. Look at that ridge, follow it, and it will lead you to the second waterfall. The second waterfall on Willowemo Creek. This mini cave would make for a nice shelter from the rain. What is going on? That is dead. For some reason, my uh, Sony A7 III won't power on. I just took pictures of the uh, eagle 
feasting on roadkill on the way here. And so even if I had forgotten to turn off the camera, there was 81% battery charge left. So what I'm going to do is, I'm gonna head back to the car, unfortunately, pick up my second camera and come up back here. Lesson learned, bring a spare battery and maybe bring a spare camera too. Don't leave them in the car. All right, got my camera in my backpack. So off we go, second time around. I'm not gonna film this second trip around anymore and I'll see you at the second waterfall. Right, I'm done shooting falls. The hike is uh, only 20 minutes long. You can actually do it faster if you want because some parts of the trail are flat and you can run like I did. It's 10.40 right now, even though I uh, had to do the hike twice because of camera problems. I'll be home before noon. Back there at the falls, it was uh, very nice being alone out in nature. Uh, hard to put into words. You, you kind of feel you're under the protective umbrella of Mother Nature. And there's the first waterfall. The first waterfall is actually closer to the second waterfall than it is to the trailhead, which means I've got the longer part of the hike ahead of me. There's Willow Emma Creek. So when you uh, come out of the covered bridge, you do not go that way. You go this way instead. And there's the covered bridge. And I'm back. Come visit this place when it's not raining like this.